She didn't send you. She sent me. She sent you? She sent me. And she's not dying in a hospital or being held hostage or in a North Korean prison because those are the only acceptable... She sent me. I'm her proxy. You're what? Her proxy. There is no proxy, you understand? I mean, you're Olivia until she says otherwise. She's not over the first family interview. Small of her. She's licking her wounds. I have no information on that. All I know is I'm handling the White House. I'm your... Olivia proxy, right. I'm calling her. She said you'd say that. Did she? She said to tell you she wouldn't take her call. The only call she's taking is mine. And I'm not to call her unless... And this is a direct quote, so let me be exact. Do not call me unless the White House is on fire and flames burning to the ground, end quote. I can do this, Mr. Bean, don't worry. I'm very good. I'll handle it. Gabby? Abby. Gabby? I almost feel sorry for what's about to happen to you. Well, hello, everyone. I thought we could start with polling numbers. How does that sound? There was a sizable bump from the Grant family interview. We made a lot of headway with women in many key voting demos and won no less than three media cycles. Well done. Okay, the bad news is that Sally's still got a stronghold on women who want to break the glass ceiling. Rest in well, he visits his murdering wife in prison every Sunday without fail. Chicks dig that. I mean, women seem to love that. So we've got some work to do to put us over the top with women, which is why this upcoming event with the wounded female soldiers, the warrior women of America, is so important. I've put together some information Where's Olivia? on... Olivia? Olivia's... I'm her proxy today. So back to these polls. We're on the precipice of something great here, people. If we gain just three points with women nationally, we're looking at a potential lock with Ohio, Michigan, maybe even f f Florida. Nice coat. If I'm going to work with you, I need you to promise me something. That you won't harm the president. Huh. It's not a joke, Dad. You looked me in the eye and said he wouldn't see his second term. Have you seen the poll numbers lately? He's accomplishing that all by himself. Promise me you won't hurt him. Dad, promise me. I promise you I won't touch a hair on his head. Good. Mm. So, B613, mm. how is it funded and where do they keep their money? To protect my agency from the naysayers and bean counters that operate off the books. To that end, in the late 80s, we staged a cyber attack on the OMB. Mm. Its purpose was to siphon small amounts of money from all other government entities. We scanned the entire federal budget and rerouted tiny amounts of funding to a black box account. Every agency, every taxpayer unknowingly had a hand in replenishing this fund, which few were aware of and only I controlled. So if someone wanted to get at that account, how would they go about it? We just need to find the algorithm and track it to B613's secret account. You're not going to believe this, but I was this close to saying top secret money siphoning algorithm yesterday. Where did you get this information? Look in the OMD's asset execution code. It should be... It didn't be... come from Jake. He's the enemy, so where did you get it? My father. I would have gone with anonymous former government employee. Huck. You're a mark. What? Your father's treating you like a mark. Did he make you a promise, Liv? He promised you something. That means he's gonna take something. That is what they do. That is what we do. He doesn't want anything. Of course he does. You just don't know what it is. I know this is hard for you, Huck, but you have to trust me. This is the job. Hack into the OMB software and get the code. My father says it's there. If we get it, we can shut down B613. I don't work for your father. No, you work for me. This is the job. I'm not gonna do it. Yes, you are. This is what we're doing. We all do things we don't want to do. This is what we're doing. Hey, good morning. Hi. Melly. Andrew? 
You haven't returned any of my calls. You need to stop calling me. Is that what you want? That's what needs to happen, yes. Is that what you want? I can't walk past you in the hallway and smile like nothing's happened. This is real, Melly. And after all these years, after everything you've done for him, you deserve something real. Someone who's not just playing the part of the man who loves you. Someone who actually does. I will always love my wife. She made a terrible mistake. Marrying one you. One that most people wouldn't forgive. So I will continue to visit my wife here in prison until she finishes serving her time. Thank you. Selection has now become a two Someone turn that up. Now? And now we're joining. Abby. Turn on your TV. Turn it on live. Turn it on now. Now, now, now. Janine Locke, the former White House communications aide who had a sexual relationship with President Grant, is now an author. In her upcoming memoir, set to be released later this month, Ms. Locke claims that she was taken for granted. I don't want to hurt the president. In fact, I want the world to know what a special man Fitz Grant is. A strong, satisfying, impressive man. What do you mean by impressive? I think you know what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Don't be coy. Give us a sneak peek, Janine. At least help whether the president is a breadstick or a baguette. <laughs> I'd have to say the president of the United States is definitely a baguette. <laughs> and what else can you tell us about the president? Well, you just have Liv, to read all about I think the house is burning book. down. Today, Ms. Locke is back in the news with a sensational memoir that's causing a stir around the world, thanks to her response to a local reporter's question. I'd have to say the President of the United States is definitely a baguette. Baguette? This is how we go down? This is our legacy? Turn it off. I thought there was a clause. I thought she couldn't talk about it. We negotiated her original contract, but... Looks like someone bought it out and brought Janine to another publisher. Someone being Langston or Reston. Hold on. ...and appalled by all of this. It's unfortunate that the president continues to be plagued by this indecency. My family and I will keep him in our prayers. That bitch. We got Cassidy's abortion. Time to pull the trigger. No. Times or the post. Who gets it? Cyrus, we are not leaking the abortion. It's wrong on every level. This is old news. We ignore it and continue with business as usual. Mr. President, this is not the time to put down our swords. Stay above the fray, Cyrus. We need to hit back, Cyrus. Olivia and I need the room. This Janine Locke thing is big. You can't underestimate it, but it can be counteracted. It means you're going to have to make nice with Melly and Andrew. You sent Gabby to me in your place? Abby. What? Her name is Abby. I don't care what her name is. You sent her to me in your place? What well, is that? Well, I'm here now. What do you need? I want Andrew Nichols off the ticket. We're not taking Andrew off the ticket. I want a list of new VP picks on my desk by the morning. You're not getting a new VP. I am not running with that son of a- You knock Andrew off the ticket now, it's an amateur move. It's too late, it'll ruin you. You picked him, he's your guy, so too bad for you he stays on the ticket. That's final, what else do you need? What else do I need? What else do I need? What else do you need? What service can I render for you today? Am I here to stroke your ego? Am I your cheerleader? Am I here to wipe your tears? Am I your nanny? Am I here to fight the bullies? Am I your bodyguard today? Maybe I'm here to make you feel good. Maybe I'm your dealer. Or maybe I'm here to make you feel hot and manly and ready so you're not jealous of your wife's boyfriend. Is that it? Am I your fluffer today, Fitz? Is that what I am? What service am I billing you for today? You're being disgusting. Oh, I'm being disgusting. And petty. Right, I'm the petty and one. And jealous. What else am I supposed to be? I lie in bed every night and I play our relationship over and over in my head like a movie. We meet, we fall in love, we can't stop ourselves, we're meant to be. I give up everything inside me and then it stops. The movie just stops. I don't know how it ends. It's just me waiting for a house in Vermont that I can't live in and a man who makes me promises he can't keep. I am not the bad guy. I am not the guy who lured you into some degrading... I am not the bad guy. I know that. You want this to be easy. You want this to be simple. It is not easy or simple. I know that. So you can't just stand here staring at me with dead eyes like I'm some... This didn't happen to you. I didn't happen to you. I know. I should go. Fine, go.
If Andrew leaves the ticket, you lose. If Melly doesn't stand by you, you lose. And losing is not an option. We're winning this election. So make nice with Andrew and Melly. Morning, boss. It's on the sketch for today. The two of you to relieve the agent surveilling this target. You are not to approach the target under any circumstance without my authorization. Agent Perkins, is everything all right? This is my Pope, Olivia's mother. Will that be a problem for you? No, sir. No problem. God, I miss you. Mm, 22 years is a long, long time. Remember when you used to bring me flowers? I do. Who's buying? Ivan Yushkin. Uh -huh. And what do you and Mr. Yushkin like? A single rose or a garden? Surprise us. <laughs> JFK, yeah, uh, sure, let's assume Kennedy was a bigger cheat, something we can't really determine until all of Grant's illicit flings are pried out of the woodwork in the next decade or two. But putting all that aside, for all the skinny dipping and starlets, the man got stuff done. This guy, he's got no Cuban Missile Crisis, no man in space, no... Oh. Cyrus Bean, ladies and gentlemen, get a picture with him now while he's still around. See you, folks. Ethan. It's time to join the fray. I'll get that and a scotch, knee. Some things never change. It's good to see you again, H. How's your neck? I was worried. I'm not tell you what she's been up to, who she's been working with. Hmm? My Pope Marie Wallace, whatever she's calling herself these days, I need to find her, Claire. Yeah, here's the thing. Marie Wallace is a trailblazer. She's a role model. There just aren't that many women as high up in our business as she is, and she is the best. So am I willing to piss off a potential mentor just to help you out? I don't think so. Come on. I'm leaning in, Harrison. I'm making an investment in my future. Sorry. Jake. I'm outside your door. What? I'm standing outside your door. What do you mean? I mean, I'm drunk, and I'm standing outside of your door. I'm not letting you in. Liv. You can't come in. I could come in if I wanted to come in, and we both know it. But you won't. No, I won't. I miss you. Says the spider to the fly. No. I miss you. We can't be together because, you know, you kill my friends. James wasn't your friend. I'm godmother to his child. He wasn't your friend. I would never kill your friends. Can you hear it? What? The B613 in your brain. I would never kill your friends? Yeah, I can hear it. I wish you just stood in the sun with me. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that too. Just let me in. Get away from my door. Let me in. Jake, go home. I don't have a home. Goodbye, Jake. No, don't hang up. Don't hang up. Liv, damn it! <laughs> Let me in, damn it! I asked you to save me. And you said no.
Liv. You found the algorithm? Right where your father said it would be. All I had to do was follow the sub list to its result array. Is it an account? Are you telling me we have B613's money? It's empty. The whole thing's just some legacy code left over from an abandoned treasury department project. He played us. He played you. I played you. To what end? You tell me. Are you working with Jake? Is that what's happening? It's not a preposterous idea, Dad. B613 is your life helping me destroy it. I'm helping you it. put down an animal, a dog that isn't mine anymore, a dog that is sick and malnourished because its new master doesn't know how to care for it. So rather than sit here and watch it starve to death, I've chosen to euthanize it, to show it mercy. Not because I hate it, but because I love it. So the money... Jake Ballard moved it. That's the only explanation. Why did he move it? I presume so this wouldn't happen. He knows I know their secrets and he knows I'm not his friend. The good news is the money exists somewhere, most likely on the agency's private network. If that's the case, though, you'll have your hands full trying to find it. Why? Because the B613 network can only be accessed from within, and that's just accessed. If you want to change something like the algorithm that controls the flow of money, well, that, you'll need a code. A code that is in the possession of one man and one man alone. Jake. Mm. You may not trust me. But at least be smart enough to know my priorities and predict my behavior accordingly. What? I need you back here, Liv. Why? Because things are about to get ugly. Facing my dear Cassidy's predicament, I know why women must be allowed to make that painful choice for themselves. What did I say? The woman's a hypocrite. She spent her entire political career telling women they can't have abortions while letting her daughter D and C till the cows come home. Then she flip-flops on the issue when it's politically convenient. Your personal experience helped to change her mind on the issue. Most mothers of a 13-year-old daughter would do what Sally did, Cyrus. And now all those women, they feel for her. You did that! You can't just lie down on the job and send some amateur in here because your boyfriend was mean to you. And then expect us all to fall in line when you've licked your wounds long enough to come home. I can expect you to listen to my directives as the manager of this campaign. The president is meeting with Senator Ramirez right now, you know, to give her the VP slot. So no one here is listening to your directives. Just FYI. In Puerto Rico, so here. Senator Ramirez, so lovely to see you again, but we're going to have to cut this meeting short. But I just... Excuse me? Very important national security matter. You understand how that is. I know how busy you are. Yes, but... And okay. we wouldn't want to leave you waiting. Thank you so much. Goodbye. What the hell was that? You were vetting her. You were unspeakably rude to a United States senator. You were vetting her as a potential vice president. What, did you think I wouldn't find out? Senator Ramirez can deliver votes. I told you, you are not replacing Andrew. Ramirez brings women, Hispanics, Christians. She's a team player, a working mother of four. She'd make a great VP. You are not replacing Andrew. You don't tell me what to do. I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to fight with you either. But I'm going to ask you again. What do you need? I need Andrew gone. No, that's what you want. What do you need? <sighs> Fitz. I don't love her. I don't want her back. I'm almost indifferent to her. It's the sense of betrayal. No. You know the answer. We both know you know the answer. You want me to humiliate you to make it easier for you to walk away. I'm not going to say it. Please don't make me say it for you. If you make me say it for you, I'll never forgive you. Tell me. I want to hear it from you. What do you need? I need Andrew to stop screwing my wife. Consider it handled. strategy session with the team. No, 
It's just you and me. What do you want, Olivia? Actually, I'm here to find out what you want. Do you want to screw Melly Grant or do you want to be vice president? I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. Two choices. Screw Melly, be VP. One or the other, either or, because you can't have both. I'm not going to allow you to have both. He's not going to allow you to have both. So you can either cozy up to Melly or you can cozy up to Fitz. Choose Fitz and I'll protect you. I'll keep you on the ticket. I'll ensure your political future. Choose Melly, and I'm sorry, Andrew, but I will have to use my considerable talents to tear you down brick by brick because the only way to do this, the only way to drop you from the ticket and be certain it doesn't blow back on the president is to make sure it's not just Fitz chasing you out of town, but all of America. And while you might like living out the rest of your days teaching political science at a small second tier liberal arts college, I don't think Melly will be by your side for it. She's more of a run with the big dogs kind of woman. So you need to make a choice. Do you want to be vice president of the United States of America for the next four years, or do you want to screw Melly Grant for the next month because that's how long it'll take for her to lose interest in you once I get done destroying you. Screw Melly, BVP. Your choice. Tell me something. Because I've always been curious. What's it like? What? Being you, cutting people's throats and calling it politics. Appealing to the lowest, basest part of humanity, scraping the bottom of a person's soul, carrying out these little emotional assassinations. Governor? I'm in love with her. I love her. <laughs> so choose Melly. I wish you would. It would restore my faith in humanity. But if there's one thing I know, it's that given the choice between power and love, men like you will always, always choose power. What did he do to you? 24 hours, Governor. If you haven't ended things with Melly, I'll have to do my job and life as you know it will be over. Forgive me. No one told me you were bringing one of your degenerate, chronic public masturbating clients. No, that one lives right here in the White House. I'm the awesome client from Awesome Town. More like Suck It Town, you pompous jackass. Get out of my office! Enough! The sniping, the infighting, it has to stop. While we sling mud back and forth, rest and stay squeaky clean. He's up five points overall, eight with women. That's just in the last 72 hours. Keep it up, and we're headed toward mutually assured destruction. So from now on, instead of fighting each other, we gang up on Reston. If we peel away his support from women, it's a two-candidate match. And how do you propose we do that? By telling the truth. Be relaxed, but firm. Trustworthy. Like she can trust you. I'm familiar with the definition of trustworthy. We just don't want her thinking this is some kind of double cross to take down her husband's campaign. Which it is. And when she sees if it's in that file, I'm guessing she won't mind. So maintain eye contact. Try not to look so shifty. Do you have any advice that doesn't involve insulting me? No. Okay. Don't rest in as I live and breathe. Let me save you some time. Yes. I support my husband's candidacy for president. I have no comment on my own case, and I respectfully refer any other questions you may have to the office of my attorney. Mrs. Reston. As I said, I support my husband's candidacy for president. I have no comment. I'm not here to ask you questions. I'm here to let you know that you're not the one that belongs in prison. Your husband is. Taking everything you got not to whip out your phone and tell Olivia Pope where her mom is right now, isn't it? What? Your loyalties. Are you a faithful person, Rob? To be 613? To me? I have never... I mean, you've been faithful in the past, right? Who else have you dated? Well, uh, there was Jesse. Why didn't you and Jesse break up? He died in an explosion. And there was Gideon. Also dead. Scissors. And now you. Who else have you dated? I don't date people. Except you. You're special. Look. We're ready. Claire just needs the paperwork. When can we expect these back? Two US passports? 24 hours. It's more than two. You said two. That number's gone up. My team. Team? How many people are we talking about? 24 hours. Claire. 
After you drop this off, you'll need to leave town immediately. For how long? Forever, dear. Do you have a problem with that? No. If B613's account is on their server, there's only one way to get into it. I have to turn Command's phone into a transmitter and use it to piggyback onto B613's network. This will upload everything I need. Passwords, log files, serial numbers. You just have to place this device on Command's phone for 30 seconds. How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to get anywhere near Dick's phone long enough to... I think you can find a way. Huck, no. Do you have any idea how many times you've asked me to do things that I didn't want to do, but I did them because you asked me to? B613 took away my family, Liv, my life, my name. They destroyed me. And now we can do the same to them, which is what you said you wanted. Don't you want that anymore? We do what we have to do. the best thing that happened to me all day. What do you want? What do you... What do you want, Liv? Why are you here? Is this why you're here? what you want, is it? How do you think Liv's gonna get what we need? Job, but at the end of the day, it's just a normal guy. Put a fork in him. Or a needle. <sighs> Women, right? <sighs> Once you let him in, you're lucky you're not normal, man.
Did anyone see you? You made a bed? Melly. I don't want the maids talking, saying we don't sleep together anymore. That's the last thing we need during this campaign. So I need you to make Jerry's bed every morning. Or I can do it. I made the bed. No one saw me. Fine. I'm wearing the Escada, so I put some ties that match it out on the bed. I gave you three options. They're all good. They'll photograph well. They're a subtle match to some of the uniforms of the female vets, and they feel appropriately sober, but patriotic. Here, you want to take a look and see? What's going on? Nothing. We're waiting. Waiting? To hear back from Claire about Adnan. We're resting to make his prison visit. For Jake's phone to download onto my hard drive. Right. Preston's at the prison. This is Olivia Pope's case file. Mm -hmm. Where did he get this? He's a political operative, Sam. I'm sure he stole it. What I want to know is, is it true? Did you shoot that man knowing he was my lover? Because if you did... You what? Call the police on me and file for divorce? Yes. Who's going to believe you, dear? I am the governor of the state, and I am about to become the most powerful man on the planet. Do you know how easy it would be to have you boxed up and shipped out to a state mental ward? One phone call, Joni. You'd be having supper with the rest of the lunatics across the bay, and I would make sure that you would rot there for many, many years to come. So you, my loving wife, had better do exactly as I tell you from now on. Till death do us part. Right, honey? Claire. I got it all. Location, travel docs, everything. But I want out. I'm gonna need your help. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I thought about what you said about the light. I keep trying to figure out when I'm done. When to walk away. When there's always more to do. More darkness than light. Is that an option for you? Walking away? I don't know. I just wonder. Olivia? Olivia, in my 22 years in prison, you know what I missed most of all? Really good wine. We always did have that in common. Enjoy it. It'll be your last. I heard about your forced retirement. Sorry you lost your little army. Oh, please do, baby. Please take a stab at me. I wonder which one of us is faster. What are you doing here? I'm your mother. I love you. I worry about you. No, you don't. I do. I know it's hard for you to believe with him in your ear, but I do. I love you. And because I love you, I want to warn you. You need to find yourself another line of work because what you do now is too dangerous, baby. I think you better get that. Harrison? They got to live. I was too late. Claire's dead. Harrison, listen to me. Get back to the office. Hang up the phone right now. You're a monster. You forced my hand by refusing to stay out of my affairs. I hope you've learned your lesson. I'm a patient man, but a vengeful one. And I have a very long memory. It's been lovely. Truly. Thanks for the wine. Now, don't go saying I was too mean just because Joan Reston didn't bite. What makes you think she didn't bite? Well, I don't know. The today's news cycle got up and running at 6 o'clock this morning, and I haven't heard a peep about Reston's divorce in any of the cable shows, let alone network. Do you have any idea how easy... 
boxed up and shipped out to a state mental ward. One phone call, Tony. You'd be having supper with the rest of the lunatics across the bay. Now that doesn't sound very female friendly, does it? It's already got 100,000 hits and I just uploaded it. I'm smarter than you are, Leo. New cycle, here we come. The Reston campaign suffered a massive blow today as a video... The video featuring Governor Reston with his wife, Joan, has managed to go viral in less than two hours. With Governor room. Reston's numbers already down by 15 points from last night's BNC poll, it's clear that this election has now become a two-candidate race. And now we're joining one of those candidates, President Grant, where he and the First Lady are speaking to the warrior women of America. All of you have made a sacrifice. All of you have had to suffer far more than you deserve. You have made a sacrifice so that others may be free. Some of us don't have that kind of strength. Especially at times like these, when it's so easy to be consumed by every salacious detail found in a magazine or heard on the news. But seeing you women here makes me realize just how small and petty those matters can be. Standing in the presence of such strength, such grit and resilience, I am reminded of what's important what really, truly matters. And that is all of you, the very best of us, the very women we should all aspire to be. Some much needed humanity on a day otherwise dominated by sexual innuendo and political maneuvering. Andrew! Melly. Andrew, wait. Did you happen to watch the event at the Veterans Hospital? I did. I thought you did well. We should be tracking better with women by the end of the day. I'm glad you think so. In fact, if you have your own ideas about what women might respond to, I have a few hours before my next event. We could talk. I don't think that's a good idea. Since when? Well, I've been thinking, and uh, you and Fitz have been such good friends to me for so long. Friends? You take everything from me! Okay, everybody, out. No! I'll go. You just keep on being president. You know, I used to want your job. No, I'm not sure. Your job is really hard. My father tried to put me on a plane a few months ago. He tried to put me on a plane and disappear me and let me start a new life and get away from all this and be somebody new, be somebody who wasn't. And I said no. Why did I say no? Do you want to know what Olivia Pope would say? What would Olivia Pope say? <laughs> you don't get to run. You're a gladiator. Gladiators don't run. They fight. They slay dragons. They wipe off the blood and stitch up their wounds and they live to fight another day. You don't get to run. How was that? That was good. I feel like I'm watching Mozart. Mozart couldn't bring down B613. I decided to meet you halfway. Are you sure you want to do this here? Because we could wait till we get to the safe house, go over the plan with Ivan and the team. No. Let's stop and smell the roses. Freaking bomb. Oh, it's 15 pounds of fully nitrated gun cotton next to a lead shielded cobalt 60 dispersion capsule. That's not just a bomb, Robin. That is the Mona Lisa of Boom. I'll be damned. It worked. I'm in. Is that the budget? That's everything. The budget, isolated B613 communication networks, infrastructure, schematics, continuity plans, their power grid, everything. Why aren't we going in? What are we waiting for? Chief, we've got eyes on the prize. Should we pursue? Negative. Wait for my go. She has a bomb. I see that. I also want to see what she's planning to do with it. Okay, but shouldn't we... Stand down, Agent Perkins. Copy that. Look, I don't want to just sit here doing nothing. Of course you don't. You want to race in, wave your gun, be the hero, and then run back to Olivia Pope and say, caught your mom, friends again, can I come home now? Okay. 
You did it. Okay. We're breaking out the booze. I can blow it all up, Liv. Right here from my desk right now, I can shut down B613. Let's head out. Wait, we're gonna lose her. We wait for command. Should I? Should I shut down B613 right now? Shut it down. They're asking about the package. Team needs to prep. Are we going White House or campaign trail? Target is on the move. Stand down. Repeat. Stand down. It's not a brownout. Some kind of internal malfunction. Fix it. I need it back up now. Whose side you're on? Just call command. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. I know we haven't had a lot to celebrate around here in the last few months. Sometimes it seems the battles weren't winnable, or at least not worth the blood spilled fighting them. But then a moment like this comes around and it makes you feel like it's all worth it that we're finally stepping back into the light. Mm. We did this, people. We made this happen. Gladiators. <laughs> what the hell have you done? I don't know what you're talking about. No? Then let me be the one who breaks it to you. You just killed the president. 